Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. 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 Let us pray. Oh. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, King of Glory, Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you so much for loving us, Lord. We thank you so much for our life. We thank you so much for the life of everyone who are here and those who are listening and those who are still outside. Father, we pray that everyone will listen to your word. We thank you so much for everything you are doing with us, my father. Thank we you, are thank you so much for our family. We thank you so much for giving us energy to be here, Lord. Thank father, you, Lord. We glorify your name, my Lord. Lord, my God, as I'm here, my father, I am not here by myself. I don't know even what I'm going to speak, my father. My Lord, I put myself in you, Lord. Father, may you clean me my heart before I stand here, Lord. Before I start to speak, my father, clean my heart. Because you are a holy God. Because you are the God of mercy. Because you cannot come close to anything which are not your holy. Lord, my father, I am here, my Lord. Father, use me. Use me to your children to hear your voice. Amen. The great father, the great I am who I am. Father, I am here. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I invite you, my father. Come and speak, my Lord. Speak the way you want, my father. In Jesus' name. Amen. I, thank you, I thank you, my Lord. I thank you for the uh, Pastor Jeff who bring me today here. Lord, my father, you know me better. But everything it is in your hand. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. 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 I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. I think you are waiting. Maybe Helen is going to preach, but I'm not going to preach. I'm coming to talk to you. If I have to preach, God will preach it through me, but I'm going to talk to you. I want just to talk to you. I have never preached anywhere. I am just me. So I hope the whole spirit will help all of you <laughs> to hear. You are loaded, Ma. Continue. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. So today uh, we are going to Hallelujah. So today we are going to talk about a personal relationship with God and the repentance. Before we start to talk, this is what I'm going to speak. It is also for me, so it's not only for you. For those who are listening, those who will listen, it is also of, of myself. Do we have a personal relationship with our Lord? Every one of us, you have that one. You can keep by yourself, but I want all of you to know that God is asking, do we have this personal relationship with him? Most of us, we pray so much. Most of, most of us, we have a relationship with God, but is it a personal relationship with him? If it is, yes, why this word is here today? Children of God, our Lord, our Savior, who died on the cross because of us, he cannot see what he was respecting. We are still stealing the love, the love that he sacrificed because of us. We don't give him. The God, our Father, if we look down, he sees his own son. He died, his son died because of our sin. And he's still now crying because of those souls who are dropping in hell. Every second, millions of souls are dropping in hell. When God, our Lord Jesus, looked down, he's crying. Jesus is still have those wounds. The wound is still there, even so many years ago. The wound is still fresh. 
But this wound, if we look at this wound and see what we are doing in this world, he's still crying. Why can't we make our father be proud of us? When will our father stop crying because of our sin? Do we have a personal relationship with Jesus? It is for everyone. It is for everyone. You are a pastor, you are a woman of God, you are a preacher, you are, you are an apostle, you are everyone. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Many of us will say, yes, we do have, because we pray, because we, we go every churches. Some of us, we go many churches, you will pray there, you will pray there, you will pray there, you will pray there. But praying many churches does not make you to have a, a, a relationship with God, a personal relationship with God. The relationship with God we have, there is a, there is a spirit of, of proudness inside it. There is two things, relationship with God and a personal relationship with God. Many Christians have relationship with God and how they go every churches to show that they, they, they love God, they love to pray, to pray much. They love this and they're always in front to show that they, 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 they know God, everything about God, they know everything. They will be there, they will be there, they'll be go there. I'm telling you, when God will come, you are going every church like this, he will vomit you. It is better you are cold or it is better you are warm. Just choose one. If you choose the world, just stay in the world than rushing like this. God is looking for, for us to have a personal relationship with him. Going every churches, every churches, you go there, you go there. If God will come today and ask you, where do you worship me? What will you say? Okay. And people like this, they don't know even where to pay tight. I'm coming back about that. That is about repentance also. Do we have a personal relationship with God? The personal relationship God is asking, it is you and him. You in your secret time with him. You who he will call you, tell him, my, my daughter, do this. My daughter, my son, do this. You tell him something, you hear is asking, he's telling you back, go and do this, go and do this. And these things he's telling you, no others, is they, they can listen, people who are outside. You just come outside and give people your word while God is giving you these words and you give to people. And these people don't know that you are speaking through with God. They don't know that when you are in a quiet time, God is there, he's speaking to you. He's telling you, my daughter, you know what? This person is like this, go and do this. I send you, go and tell this person this. Children of God, we are failing. And the way we are failing, many children of God who are born again, they know everything, everything. They act like they know everything. While angels don't know even Jesus as these people who are born again, they, act, they know God more than even the angels. Spirit of proudness. Do we have a personal relationship with God? Sometimes God is telling you, listen to me, do this, do this, do this. We don't do it. But we will go to people and show that we are so holy. Okay? We will go there and preach. And when we stand in the camera and preach, we need those cameras to look at us. We need the light, we need what? Uh, just to act like we know God, God. But in the heart, God does not, does not see that. Don't wash yourself with your face. 
People see that you are so holy. What is God inside you? You know that God is that is not there. People like this, God is hiding his face from these people. But we see them as this is a, oh, she's a good preacher. Oh, this woman, oh, this woman. We don't know. They love to come in the cameras, preach, preach, preach. But in their personal, do you have a personal relationship with God? Where God can tell you, my daughter, you know why? Today I want to, to send you. There's one soul there. Go and, and, and tell this person this and this. Some of us, God have been giving us our dreams, revelation. We have books and books. I don't know how many years we have been born again. Do you go through those books and read and pray for those every, every revelation God gave to you? You should go there and read those revelations and pray for it. There is one revelation in those books you have. It is for today. It is for you to preach today. It is to, for you. God showed you that time, I don't know, five years, 10 years ago. That, that revelation, it has to be today. If you read that revelation, you could tell people something about it today. In that time, God gives you that. It was not happened, but now it happened. You have many books, you put like you have medals, like you are going, I don't know which countries. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Children of God, we need to search our Lord by ourselves in a private time. God sees us. Sometimes God really wants, he wants some of us here. Okay? But when we go in a private time, we will pray 20 minutes. We will pray 10 minutes. Okay? Because that 10 minutes you count together with what you pray in the church. You pray in CHMI. You pray, I don't know which church you, you worship God. You pray there and you, you come. And after that, you will come, you will sleep. Now you are tired. And devil is using us so much. We just use our time to eat and the phones. Children of God, you come from work. First thing you think it is to eat. First thing you think it is to, to go to shower. First thing you think I have to call somebody. Okay? You don't remember God, the one who died on the cross for you. Your mother, your father will never die for you. I'm telling you the truth. If a lion will come now, even you are a child, if a lion is close to your child, you will run. Did Jesus run from you? Did Jesus run from me? No. Why we don't respect this man? See how he went to cross. Children of God, we know Bibles. Even if you who are outside, you don't know the Bibles. You know that Jesus died on the cross. You know how they torturing him. You know how he shed his blood. They put on him, they slapped him. If somebody will slap on you, only two slaps, you will run. You will run. He knows he was a, a king of glory, but he was there. He, bowed, he was there. He was ready to sacrifice his life because of us. But see what we are paying him back. And this is a church who are waiting that Jesus is, will come and will be there. If I may ask, if Jesus will come today, do you think he will make it? Or do you think I will make it? We say that Jesus is a merciful God. Yes, he is a merciful God, but here, our Lord Jesus, everywhere he was going, he was praying to his father. See how, 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 how much he was praying. Jesus, he was praying, praying. And yes, we say Jesus is a merciful God, but how God is father. Do you think he's happy? He is his own son, he died for us. He died because of us. Do you think he's happy? If you, you know the Bible well, try to describe every, every word in the Bible where Jesus is talking about his father. 
about about his father everywhere where he's talking about his father see how stressful he is god he does not joke god the father does not joke that's why when adam and eve did that the same seconds he just threw them out and that's why the lord jesus is crying for us up to now he's telling us to repent he's telling us to seek his face because in that day, God, his father is there. Let me take back uh, in the uh, revelation, um, what I hear this is Sister Claire, when she, when she was, she met Jesus and, and God was, God, the father was, she, Jesus was begging God. He said, Father, please give me one minute, one minute. I have a child in Sheila Leon. Please, my father, I beg you for one minute. Okay. Jesus was shedding, was crying, asking the father, please, only one minute. He has a child in every country, one child. Okay. If you never hear that, go and hear that. Jesus was crying, he said, father, only one minute, one minute. I have a child in Michelle Leone. Please, only one minute. Okay. And what, what Jesus said, does not shock you, said in Sierra Leone, it is only one person. So that if we will come, how many people in that, that, in that country? How about our country we live? Do we tell these people about Jesus? God the Father does not joke. And I am sure that's why God, Jesus is still asking us to pray, to repent, because he knows in that day, he, there is no mercy. My beloved, if you miss heaven, you won't miss hell. If you miss heaven, you won't miss hell. And there is no repentance. Do we have a personal relationship with Jesus? Only one question I, I will ask. Can somebody you don't know come to your place and wants to live with you, wants to live in your place, the, the, the stranger person to come and live in your place? Will you accept it? And if you will accept, you will say, okay, that room. You will just show that room, maybe for one day, that room, okay? right? But Jesus is telling us, he is preparing a place for us. He wants us to pray in the day, in the night without, without, without being tired. He has preparing a place where we are going to relax there. If we don't have this personal relationship with God, who do we want to go to, to, sit with, to stay with in heaven? We all want to go to heaven. God does not know you, but you want to go there to stay with him. How? How? Please, there's something, there's these things we need ourselves to ask ourselves. If a stranger will come, want to live with me in my house, this person, I don't know. I don't know if it is a thief. I don't know if it's a wicked. I don't know if it's a witch doctor. I don't know. This person just come. Uh, I want the first uh, step it is in my house. And I don't know. He's, he will come with all his luggage. I don't know if he's a killer. I don't know. He just come. He want to live with me. You want, I will never accept it. But how we want to go to, to live with Jesus? We all, even you ask your people who are not born again. Okay? They want when they die, they want to go to heaven to stay with whom? If Jesus does not know you, Jesus does not know us. Okay? Where do we want to go to stay with in heaven? Ourselves. It is a time to wake up as Christian. It is a time to wake up. 
We are the one we go and preach, preach. Oh, you will go to hell. You use this trouser, you will go to hell. You forget yourself also, God. Without God, you wouldn't be here. You are you, you have been using all the things you are preaching. Okay? But when you go to preach, you preach with that voice like you will go to hell. Then fact, when you go to preach, you tell people you go to hell. You make these people even hate God more. God did not send you to do that. Go back to your Lord. Go kneel God and ask God, what can I do? How, what can I preach? I don't know. Like I'm saying, I don't know even what to preach. I cannot preach, but go and pray, ask God, Father, what can I do? Okay. Then you just go and tell you, you will go to hell. You are using trouser. You are going to hell. All these people will go to hell. Which hell? Have you been there? We need to, 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 to know what we are doing. Before you go out to preach, go on your knee, cry to God, ask God, Father, give me the word. Father, help me. I don't know what to go and tell your children. Father, help me. I have seen, I have seen also some of pastors without, without praying. Okay? They just come and tell the, the, the word of God. That's why some people, they will be just talking to you. You say, oh, they are coming to preach. And you, you self, like us, we start to say, oh, but this, what is this pastor is preaching? What is like this? What is this? Okay. They will preach, uh, preach negatives because they haven't asked the mercy. They haven't asked God, Father, I am going to preach it tomorrow. Father, speak through me. Father, help me about this. They just go. You cannot go by yourself. That's where we Christian fail. We think we know everything. If somebody is born again, come tell you, you said, I know this long time, you know. In that day, that person who's telling you there, that you said, you know, you will meet each other there. Do we have a personal relationship with Jesus? Oh, we just come always. We come in the church, we pray eh, to show our faces every time to come and show our faces and go, come and show our faces and go. Eh? Some of us, we worship with three churches, four churches. Do we have a personal relationship with Jesus? In heaven, where you worship, they are writing the name of your pastor and all oh, that church. So which church are you if you are running there? I am there, I am there, I am there. You don't even want to give to your tithe. You don't even want to give to your offerings because always you are like this. You are like this. You are like, Jesus will vomit you. Will he vomit you because you are searching for miracle? Because you want people to see that you always there, always there. The Bible is telling us there's people they will hear Jesus is there, they will run there. Jesus is there, they will run there. You are going to do like that. If you don't stand in one church and worship your God and praise your God and ask God for the direction, you are wrong. Running every church does not make you holy. Going to many pastors and asking them to pray for you, want to help you. Going to pastors and telling pastor, pray for me, pastor, pray for me, pastor, pray for me. It is you have problem. Is pastor have problem? It is you have problem. Why don't you run to your father? You run to the pastor. I can understand if you get some attack, you said, let me go to, to the pastor. Let me go to the pastor. Now I have this problem. But many things go to your Lord. God is saying people are afraid of coming of me because they are afraid of me to tell them the truth. You don't want to hear the truth from God. Okay. Some of you, you go to the pastors and the pastor will tell you, oh, give me something, give me something. You are happy. And the pastor will start, start telling you like, yo, you see miracle. You do this, you do this, you do this. Why don't you go to your own father? Did that person die for you? You are searching for miracle. 
You go to the pastor, they will beat you, say you, are, you will have children. I've been in one church, actually. Okay. They beat you, you will have children. They will beat you, they want the money up to you. You don't have more money, they want the mobile pay. They will do everything. That does not make you be close to God. Children of God, God is asking. He need a person to have a, a, a relationship with us. He need to call you. He need to see you. Many of us, we have been in the church many times, but we never hear anything about God. The dreams God is giving you, the liberation God is giving you, it doesn't mean that you are going to heaven. Sometimes he's giving you that because he, he has children in that. He wants these children to hear it. Learn. Let us learn together. Let us learn to find our Lord. Let us learn. Let us seek our God by ourselves. Seek God with all your heart and you will find him. A problem of people, they want to seek God. They will seek God, they will fast two, three days, five days after that because they have been asking something. They don't see it. They will stop. They will stop. But when, but when they are here, okay, you don't have anything. You have to walk. Even in the rain, you have to walk. In the winter, you have to walk. Why don't you stop and say, now I am tired. I'm not going to walk because I am tired. Because you want to eat. We want to eat. But things from God, we want to get it for free. A man who died on the cross because of us. We still want to get things for free. Like I will pray today and God will just answer. If you don't answer, I will be angry at you. Be angry of God does not move God. Does not move God. Here, children of God, being angry of God does not move God. I've tried it. Does not move God. Talking bad, eh? saying, yeah, I don't want you to hear anything about God anymore. It does not move God. Eh? God is looking even one, only one soul. It is enough. What you have died on the cross, it is enough. Eh? Jesus, he have died on the cross. He has sacrificed all his life for us. So now it is our time for us to find him. To find him. It is like when you really want that treasure, you will do anything, anything to get it. Anything to get it. Think twice the things like you really need it. You will do anything to get it. Even now they tell you that you don't have, you don't have any education. You don't have anything to eat. You will even clean the toilet just to, you need money to eat. Okay. You have to find God. And before it is too late, because Jesus is coming. He's coming very soon. I don't know how many, how many. How many? If we said in this country, there's two people, one country, two people. And you have been praying, you have been in holiness so many years. Where will you, where, where will you tell God that, where were you, where you worshiping? The fight, it is not, in, it is not ending now. Children of God, we need to fight. We need to pray. We need to seek God. The things you need to do, I don't know how to tell you. This is like, uh, we are in the very last minutes. The things we need to, to do, it is to pray without being tired. And don't let anyone fool you, tell you don't pray. There is nothing in this world than prayer. Nothing than prayer. If you listen, people tell you, don't pray. Think twice. Think twice. If your king prayed, he knows that he was the king, but he was praying. Up to now, Jesus is still praying. And somebody will fool you, don't pray. Hey, don't let somebody make you fall. I've told, I've made my mind. I told even my family, 
all of them they know no one if they want to go let them go but no one will take me away from the lord i know where he took me when my husband married me he don't know all where i came from those he knows he knows but not all where jesus took me it is me and my father so no one will make me go another way and i know that you are like that too if you haven't find god you who are outside it is your time jesus is coming if you are not there you will really great you will cry 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 and there is no mercy there is no mercy some of us jesus have taken us in hell but you come back you forget you forget how oh. I don't understand people Jesus took you to hell and you come here you forget the devil has used you in the wrong way if you want to fight you are in danger you are in danger do not stop children of god we need to pray we need to find this jesus this jesus who died on the cross because of our sin this is jesus who still wants us a relationship with us he cannot find us where are we children of god we will cry like today every time children of god we hear the word of, of god we are going we will cry we will cry the lord will answer us two three days we forget it's like a pregnant woman you get pregnant you, when you deliver so pain, you say, I want to try it. I've been working with this, so I know what I'm talking. I won't do it again. I won't, but this, after two minutes, after two years, she will come again with a big stomach again. Okay. It is the same. So God has been talking to you. Do this, my daughter. You forget. God will take you to hell. Okay. You come back and you forget. What do you want this man to do for you? This message is for, for all of us. We say we want to deny Jesus, but we have been denying Jesus. Go and repent. Repent, children of God. We have been denying God and we say we want to deny God in that day. What are you waiting for? If you want to pray right now, you have to repent, otherwise it is too late. Some of us will talk about our mouth. Be careful about this mouth you use. You will say, me, I will never deny Jesus. You will already deny Jesus. All of us here, we are here. We denied Jesus. Now he give us a, a second chance. But since he gave us a second chance, how many second chances we have been asking God up to now? Before you count by yourself. We sin every day. And it is not bad. Okay, we sin. Do we repent every day? And be careful. You think it is now uh, uh, like a normal thing, like, oh, I will sin, I will repent, I will sin, I will repent. If God will take you, that, that minute you just finish sin without repentance, you are finished. Right now, God is so merciful. He's still giving us chance like this, but do you know this means how many, how many souls are dropping in hell? Some of souls are our families. Some of souls, the Lord are sending us to warn them, but we are afraid. Some of these souls, you meet, you meet with them, they have short clothes, they speak bad, they do this, but you pass through them. You won't tell them the word of God, but you're going to tell somebody who's sitting there. Some of this is so, when we go to them, we start to preach to them by, by fear. You study, you know my sister, if you want to change, you are going to hell. Do you think this sister will love God? You never even, you did not even to start to say, hey, shalom, praise the Lord, and you know my sister. You introduce your, your God first, introduce that King of Kings, introduce him the way you know Jesus. 
before you start telling him these things, first introduce them to know the love of God, to know why we are here as children of God, to know that this man died for us, to know that we breathe because of him. Before we go on and telling them about these trousers. Me to be honest, nobody told me about, about Jesus. I never, no one told me about it. I, I grew up in Catholic many years. I have never heard about it. And I'm also afraid why I never even hear in, in, in YouTube somebody preaching that Jesus, they saw Jesus, somebody. This, yes, I know there's a church born. I knew these people used to cry, cry, cry to us, but I never know why they're crying for. Jesus is asking, he wants a personal relationship with us. He wants us to seek him by ourselves. When you think that Jesus is not there, you cry, you, you seek him, you won't find him. He's there where well, Jesus is so close to you like this, like here, like here, so, so close. But then the devil will come and tell you, you see, you have been praying, praying, he's not there. And now you will give up. My beloved, never give up. Never give up for your own reason. He has done his job. It is our job to find him. It is our job to find him. He's telling us in the word, in his word, he said, those who knock, he will open the door for them. Those who seek him, they will find him. Eh? This word is a God who never lie. He never lie. And it is true, my beloved, if you will seek God with your own heart, all hearts, you will find him. For those who said you don't find God because you seek God 20 minutes, 10 minutes, but 24 hours, how many times do you give God? Count yourself in the day, like today, how many hours did you give God? You call him the king of glory. You call him almighty God. How many hours did you give to him up to now? And how many hours did you call everywhere or use your time for other things? But when it comes to God, you are tired. When it comes to God, oh, wait, let me do this. When it comes to God, oh, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. You will pray. When it comes about the praying with others, you are the first in front. Does Jesus know us? How many times do we use our time for calling our friends, our families, calling everyone? And how many times do you call God? Did any one of us today, yesterday, last week, ask God, Father, now I am praying, I'm going to fast. I am going to fast for the children of you in the world. I want you to touch them. Does anyone? We know when we go to seek our Lord, we go only with our, our problems, selfish. Selfish, since you are born again, all those years you pray for yourself. You pray for your family. You pray for your children. Others, you don't remember them. Which heaven do you want to go with your selfishness? Do you think that heaven people, God does not want people like that because he knows when you will go there, your behavior is still the same. You know to die, even if you die now, your spirit will go there. That's not that, like, does not mean that when you die, you change your behavior. You will still have that the same behavior. So if we take you to heaven, you are going to disturb those people, those holy people who are there. You will disturb them with all, all this stubborn, 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 this pox. Little pox we have. That's why he wants us to be holy. 
If you don't pray for others, you pray for only yourself. You pray for only your family. You pray every time you pray for yourself. You don't have time to, to, to fast for other people. If I will ask you, some of you here, if, if you have been there, visit the people who are in prison, even talk to them. Do you think all of them, they are this? Men are like Paul. Men are the one there just to glorify God. God, he put there for a reason. And if you will see many people who are in prison, men of them, they know God, they find God there. They find God there because of all this torturing, because of people they are lying to them, they find God there. And children of God like us, they go and give them Bibles. And this Bible they get, they got God. Winning soul doesn't mean that you have to go on the road and oh, Jesus is coming. Repent, you repent. No. Winning souls is like you have to, somebody has to know that there is God. Somebody, you have to pray to God and go to touch this soul. And you go, this, you know, that people, I pray for these people. I give you this Bible. And tell God, Father, do, do the rest. You will be winning souls. Some of us preaching, 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 sending these things, things, things. Some people, they don't read. Even you will send it in Facebook, they don't read. Even you will go on Facebook, shout, shout, shout. People, they don't read. Okay? If we want to view as many people, they go and buy it. People, they don't even read. I remember before I come to holiness, I have more than 1,000 friends. But now, I don't know, 120 maybe I have. All they go, all they go. And I'm so happy. And even I was, I was writing, I said, I'm so happy that you go, but you who are still here, you don't even comment anything. I know God has a meaning, that's why you do not leave me. I know God will do something, that's why you're still here. You don't like me, but you read my message. Let us try to find Jesus with a pure heart, with praying. Don't use your all time saying that I will go to this man of God to pray for me. You, it is you who have problem. You know yourself more than who you are going to run to that person to pray to you. Okay. Yes, the word of God said when that where they are praying more than two gathering together, God is there. But let me tell you, this is a secret. When you pray alone, you have a problem because that problem it is you who have. God will answer you because God knows this problem. It is you who have it. But if we are waiting, like, oh, I will go and tell my pastor, my problem, this pastor prayed for me. Okay, pastor will pray for you. You are wrong. Pastor, don't know that prayer, uh, that that problem. Why don't you seek God by yourself? If God died for you, he died for that pastor. He died also for you. If God can speak with that pastor, God can also speak to you. I remember when I come in this holiness, you, all of you, actually, you helped me so much and God used you to lift me. I thank God for this family I have. I thank God for you, all of you. But there were times I was... I was everything. I was thinking like, oh, my pastor is everything. Everything I would get, I would go to the pastor. Everything I would get, I would go to the pastor. Okay. One day I go to the pastor. He told me, uh, you need to go to, to, to the God and ask you about this. I was, I was angry. I was angry. So it is you who always help me now. You told me to go to, to, to my God. I was angry. I was angry. I did not even speak to that pastor. Yes, my pastor, our pastor. I did not speak to him. I was angry. I have bitterness. I said, now I am also new here. What can I do? What can I do? I was so angry about it. I said, what can I do? So now I, 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 I said, see, see how this is spirit, how spirit entering people. Because I was so angry, I opened the doors for the devil. I stopped joining in the church. 
I stopped joining. It was three days. I did not come. I did not come in this in this chat. I did not come. And they uh, and Mama D was uh, starting to send me messages. Oh, Dada Helen, how are you? I don't see you. I hope everything is well. I was looking like this this message, and I was crashing so angry because she did not know that her husband did uh, tell me this, and her husband was going to 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 England, and she was here. I was so angry at, at, at that. But I reply, I am fine. But the first method I did not reply. She sent me three times and I know that this was God, but I did not, I did not care. I was so angry. I was so angry. I was also angry at God because that, that, that the proudness. I was like, oh, you bring me here. Now it is like this. I was angry at everyone. I didn't want even to come to the church. But there were times I know what I've get it. Now I was crying. The, the merciful God who used to help me to speak to me, he stopped. Okay. Because all who knows me, you knows me well. He stopped. Now I was missing this voice. I was missing. Now I was crying, asking him for mercy. Okay. And now I tell him, if we want to answer me, now I am going to leave everything. Now I leave everything. But I don't want to go to the world. No. But I say I'll leave everything. Now I'm hearing the voice telling me, go to this church, go to this church, go to this church, go many different churches. I said in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm not going to any churches. And that day God manifested himself to me. So I was, he gave me the mercy. Otherwise, it was, it was my own problem. That was my own reason. And this is how God is said, only by mercy, these people will make heaven. That day he gave me that mercy, but I will never try it again because I know. Children of God, we have to cry to our Lord. We have to find God. Stop praying 20 minutes, 30 minutes. While you are using, you have 24 hours. Everything which happened right now, everything what if happened every day, God is watching. Do you see your eyes? Inside the eyes, there is like a mirror. Everything are recording. Everything are recording, you won't lie. And those people who go to hell, they know that they, they, they did not do anything wrong because you are sure, sure that you are going to hell because of this. And you know that in your heart, that, yes, I am sure. But no one to go to hell. A place which is darkness, a place which is torturing, no eat. No doing this, no doing this, no merciful there. God he wants us to find our relationship with him right now. Otherwise it will be too late children of God. They pray, we are praying. Don't waste your time. And you who are still outside, you don't want to hear this. When the, the, the trumpet will call, you are going to cry, cry, cry. No one will help you. Here are many testimonies out there. People who don't know God, when they go to hell, they call God. How do you call God who don't know you? But God helps them, they are here. And they are still having these things, all these things they are putting. You children of God, you children of God, we are telling you the word of God, don't go naked. You said I was born naked. Why don't you go naked if you are born naked? Take all your clothes out and go naked. And God will know that, yes, I was born, you were born naked. But going and showing your things, showing you your breast, making you a pastor, I have a last thing for you. You children of God, I am telling you this word. Hey, God is not joking. He's not joking. You children of God, you are still up to now having makeups. You are still. Uh, painting your, your, your uh, I don't know how you call this lip gloss or what, or, or everything you are putting in. And you said God wants us to, to look beautiful. Which beauty? Which beauty? If you said God wants you to look beautiful, did you, was you born with those things? No. You are praying with fire. That is a prayer with fire. 
You children of God who are going, you are showing all this part eh, because you want people to see that you have big breasts, uh, 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 six breasts like this. You are going to, to repent. I am telling you, repent before, before the time is, is, is coming. Jesus is coming. I am telling you all of you to repent. You who are still using high heels, you who are still using tear rings, and you say that it is not a sin. I am telling God, repent. Before you repent, you move everything, that thing, throw it out, and you go repent. But you want to repent while you're still holding those things. Children of God, you go to church, you have a, a, a closet, you are showing all this part. Repent before God is coming. Children of God, who go with, with the shirts, you show your body. You show your body is glorious. Woman of God, what do you want from this man? Repent. Repent, I'm telling you, there is no sorrow in that day. There is no sorrow in that day. Woman of God, repent. You who are, are running to different men, you, you want to look beautiful. This man, this pastor has to look at you, that you are beautiful. You have a beautiful body. Repent, you are sleeping with that man. How many people have you been sleeping with? by showing your body. Repent. Children of God, who use your mouth. You know you can speak. You know that you can shut everyone. You know that no one can speak than you. Repent. Jesus is coming and he's not joking. You who thinks you know everything, you have been in, in holiness many years, no one can tell you anything, you know everything, go and repent. After now, go and repent, go seek God and ask God for forgiveness. You who think some people that will come here, they will tell you, no, uh, uh, you know, I have dream of this one about this, about this. And you say, no, me, me, me. Hey, I got this revelation. Me, it is not me. You, that was a demon. Go and repent and ask God, who, what is about this dream? Is it true, me? You don't know yourself very well. If a sister will come and tell you, I dream about you. I saw you this and this. That, that showing that you know everything. Go and ask, cry to God. You say, God, was it me? God, man, face your power. Man, face yourself. Was it me, Lord? Children of God, we need to repent. You children of God, you were saying, I am in holy mercy. Me, I'm like this. Me, I read the Bible all. Me, I do this. While you know that in your heart, it is so darkness. You haven't even get even one revelation. Go and repent right now. Go and repent, children of God. Jesus, Jesus is not joking. Jesus is tired of us. He's crying every many souls are dropping in hell. Children of God, what are we doing? What are we doing? Proudness. Proudness. Children of God, we have so much proud. If we look somebody in, in, in an, a, another ministry preaching like this, you say, oh, hey, this church, I worship in this church. They are so better than this church. Go and repent in the name of Jesus. You children of God who are power, appointing on, on pastor for of, Pastors, children of uh, servant of God, you are pointing your finger. You say this, this what she's speaking. This is what he's speaking. Is not from God. Do you know God? Does God speak to you that this is not true? God have been anointing these people. 
When pastors, we talk something, you will know that this is not from God. Yes, we know. Men, they speak things not from God. But never go sit there and say, you know, this pastor was lying, was doing what, go and repent in the name of Jesus. God, you have been anointing these people. If they have been doing wrong, if they are sinning, it is up to you to go and ask God to forgive them and cry to God and say, Father, change their hearts. Father, I know this, what they talk about this. I know what your word is not like this. Father, forgive them. Children of God who go always in these social networks. You see somebody is posting this woman, she slept with some, some men and, and then they put that picture of this woman on Facebook and now they're starting to abuse that woman in Facebook and you are sending their uh, likes, you are uh, chatting there like you're mugging this, this woman because she slept outside the, the, the marriage. Go and repent. God is not happy. People, they are sinning and the children of God, we are happy. You will see a sister, a sister backslide or a sister sin in the church. And you know, this sister is sinning with this pastor. And you, because you have a very big mouth, you go to another sister, you know, <laughs> yes. And when she comes in the church, she acts like she knows everything. Go and repent right now. Do you think God is happy? God is not happy these souls are, are dropping in hell. It is you, maybe God is showing you to pray for these souls. Now you start to backslide. Why are you backsliding children of God? Go and repent. Repent in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not choking. And we call ourselves, we are children of God. We are in holiness. Is this how we, we tell people to, to see us? We are mocking God by ourselves, the way we look, the way we behave here. Some chat will invite you, you will go like you know everything, like you know everything. Children of God, repent! This evil spirit, we must repent! We must repent! If you see a child of God, you see somebody is, is, is putting on Facebook, in putting on this, this child, child of God, maybe they find this child of God, she's naked, she has been a prostitute, now they beat her, they took picture, they put in Facebook, maybe you know that person, you will go and, and, and yeah, I know her, that mouth will take you to hell. When you say that, it is better you don't comment anything. Go and pray. Go in prayer. Nothing breaks the prayer. Go in prayer. This is how God wants us to win souls. To win souls is not like you go and preach, 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 and nobody will listen. But this is, this is where there, there is a torturing. Like that, that woman. Who all people come to, to beat her. They wanted to beat her, and Jesus stood there and said, Who did not do any wrong? It's supposed to beat her first. Okay. And maybe all of them that have been sleeping with her. That's why all of them they went. Because we are so quickly to judge. We are so quickly to judge. And you, children of God, who are there, I don't mean that we should not tell you the truth. It's not like I'm talking about that because people, children of God, you people, when you hear one word in the Bible where you run and say, don't judge me. That is not that what I'm talking about. If you still have this bad behavior, we will come to you, we will tell you. If you don't listen, if you don't listen, it is because of yourself. Everyone who goes to hell because they like it. If you don't want to serve God, a merciful God, you are serving the devil. The devil is your father. Children of God, we have to repent. We have to repent. 
children of God. You don't use these things and you, you, you let your children use it. Okay. Your children are sinning against God. Your children coming with a boyfriend in the house, girlfriend in the house. You don't say anything because you are in Europe, you are whatever you are. And, but where you come from, you never even show that boyfriend is in front of your father. Go and repent. You children of God, you worship several times. You worship there, you worship there, you worship there. You don't know where to pay tithes. You are stealing from God. Go and repent. Go and repent. God is not joking. He is not joking. He is not joking. And some of you, you said, because I'm not walking. You are not walking, but you eat it. You eat it three times. You eat it four times, right? You are not walking. Yes. Wait in that day, you tell God I did. I was not joking. But God is still giving you merciful. You don't seek. You eat. You do everything. No, I'm not walking. My husband is walking, but you eat. Take that salary you get from your husband. The the money you give to you go and do you buy your thing. Take some ten percent and pay the tithe. Otherwise, go and repent. And this, we make our children, as we have the sin from our grandfathers, that where those people, they, they said, the, the Kaiser asking, this is sin, and they, they said this sin will be through us and our children. That's why we still have that, that sin. This sin, some of us, we're still giving our, our children this sin. We don't pay tight. Our children won't pay tight because they learn from us. You know the Bible well. The word of God where it says, teach your children since they are small. If you don't pay tight, where they, will they learn to pay tight? If the mother don't pay tight. Like, it's, like some of us here, we always join in this church of God. Okay. Our pastor will pay the zoo. We we'll pay everything. We don't pay even a cent. And we are worshiping here. We come and steal. We steal from our God. We steal and eat by ourselves. Repent. God did not put him there. That he has to suffer. When we are coming, we ask God everything we want. God is giving to us. But we don't want even to pay a cent to help. To help the poor here. We don't want to pay the, the, the cent. To help the Tabitha uh, pocket. I come with the uh, Tabitha to pocket was there. We don't want to help anything. And you who think you will help by yourself. Why don't you pray there by yourself? When you know very well the Bible, verse where it says, where they are gathering together, God is there. Why we don't be one children of God? To say, let us do this together. This is from our church. Let us do this together. Let us pay the Zoom together. This is a church of God. When God looks down, he can't, he can't see love. His church is falling while we are happy. We said, oh, we use our internet. Children of God, after now, if you, you die, you hear this word, you don't repent. It is, it is on yourself. I have said it. I have said it. I don't wish anybody to die, but if if your time it is now, you will die without repenting. You have been in such a many, many years. You don't pay anything. You don't help anything. You need to repent. I'm not talking only about CHMI. I say CHMI because I worship here. You all churches, this God are telling all of us we have to pay the tithe. All of us, we have to pay the tithe. And everything I've said, it is for all of us, all of us. You are born again, you are not born again. God knows that he shed his blood because of you. You have also to sacrifice. If you need heaven, you need also to sacrifice yourself. It is our time to find Jesus. It is a time to repent. 
There's no more time, my sisters, my brothers. There's no more time. The word of God is, if you cannot find God now, there's a time. We will cry, he won't even hide it. He won't even show us any mercy. We will find him, he won't even show himself. Because God now is holding his hands like this. He wants us. But we are not there. We are not there. We don't have energy. We are so weak. When it comes about Jesus, we are so weak. Don't think only the prayer, prayer, but you don't want it to help. If with this church, we will break because there is, there is no, there, there, there is, there, okay, our pastor can't pray all these things. If we will break, you will go to another church. And you think God he, he will be so happy about you. Oh, I'm so happy, Sister Helen. Come and be here. He's not joking. Maybe we think God is so merciful. But in that time, he's a man of war. In the Bible, you can describe God for so many ways. God, he can be the God of mercy. He can be a great God, but he can be a man of war. He can be a very angry God. And when, if we want that, if we want to see another part of him, it is a part where we don't want even him to stand and say, do this. Because when God is angry, also the, the, the voice, he changed the voice. Those who, who saw hell, they come back. They are so lucky. They are so lucky. Because there are many you don't know. God you have taken them there and they did not get mercy. But you are still up to now here. You are still enjoying the time. You hear God is coming, say, yeah. Since I was 20 years, they say God is coming now. I am almost 100 years. You don't know how much God is counting the day. Children of God, we need to change our behavior. We need to change and touch our hearts. We need to have a clean heart. And it is not that easy, but it is easy to find Jesus because he's the only one who can remove that what we have. That what we have, that the, the, the black heart we have in us, it's only Jesus can do that. Don't let anyone, anyone separate you from the Lord. Don't let, even it is your husband. Yes, the Bible said, respect your husband, respect your wife, but don't le let them take, take, separate you from God. Respect them, but never allow them to separate you from your father. Otherwise, you are finished. Because in heaven, there is no marriage. Marriage, it is here. When you finish here, you finish. When you, you die now, you are separating. There is no marriage in heaven. So don't let your child, your husband, your mother, your wife, your brother separate you from God. It is only you knows where God took you from. It is only you knows. No one knows. Children of God. If you count all this year you have been in holiness, if you count where God took you up to now, if you count that love, I don't know. If you count that love, if we are having a counter with Jesus, if you count that love, and somebody will tell you, I don't want that one. And you say, this is my husband. You know what? They said the marriage is only God will separate it, but separate yourself. If it was like that, pray, pray. I don't tell you that to divorce your husband, no. I don't tell you that, but in your heart, put everything in prayer. Don't, don't waste your time to answer him that I don't like you. What? Put everything in prayer. Pray hard, pray hard, even he doesn't like it. Myself, my husband is not born again up to now. He's not born again. 
but I pray and I love him with all my heart. I love him. Yes, the things he, he, he does, I know that they are not from God, but God knows better. The work of the Lord is only God knows his time. Because when he rescued me, I don't know who prayed to God came and rescued me. So please use that time to pray for somebody. Use your time to fast you only for one soul. When you go somebody, you see this, this, pal, this, pal, this, this person is in very pain. He's in very pain and you don't know how to do. Please, you can just fast two days for that person. And God will count that. God is counting everything. Please, let us pray without being tired. I'm telling you, it helps you so much. It helps so much if you pray, you use your, you use, if you cannot pray much, please use one hour. Pray. When you wake up in the, in the morning, before you touch anything, pray. God is counting. God he wants to be the first love. God is so jealous when you follow in love about other things than him. God is so jealous when you put your husband in front, you forget it's him who gives to you. You are in your country. Okay? He gave you that person, but you forget. And now you love that person more than him. The personal relationship I was asking, or the Lord is asking, he wants. Let us try to have that one. We all we have many friends. We want to tell our friends everything we get, every dreams we share with our friends, everything. But those the friends you have, if they will steal one, one day steal your husband, you will be so mad. You will be so mad. If they will steal your wife, those friends you have, you will be so mad. So just imagine, that's why God is so mad because he have married you, he have died for you. Let us be one, my, my beloved. Let us love each other. Let us find our personal relationship with God than having a relationship with God. Because only relationship with God, it have evil spirit in it. Because you will tell anyone, when anyone will do that, you will know that you have a relationship with God. But if you have a personal relationship with God, God will use you. We will use you and others won't know. Others will, let me tell you something, this one I never even talked to anybody. To have a personal relationship with God. People, they will talk in your church, in everywhere, they will talk bad about you, but Jesus will tell you. Be careful of these children of God, of this pastor. Those, I'm talking about those pastors, those pastors, when I say pastor, you know pastor. Those 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 anointing people, they think they know. You are surrendering, you are doing things they know. They know. They think when, he, when we talk, we, we are surrounding about that person, God will tell you because God is trusting on you because you have a personal relationship with God, he will tell you. But you will see these people, you won't tell them. You will just see them, you won't tell them. Maybe God will tell you, pray for them, but don't tell them. We won't tell them. So they think it is very good to have a personal relationship with God because things which are happening, God is telling you. You know many things, but people, they don't know. You just join. They don't know if you know anything. But these things, God has been showing you so much. So please let us find God. Don't give up. I am, I'm, I'm begging all of you, please, if you are still out there, Find Jesus. It's the only right. It is the only way to heaven. Nobody lied to you telling you about Muhammad. Nobody lied. Nobody died and came back. But he has win the death. No one can do that. No one can do that. But Jesus win the death. Even you go to Babalao, nobody, nobody will win, will die and come back. Was Jesus. 
on Razar, God did it for Razar, but Jesus win the death. He's the king of kings. He's the king of glory. Pray without being tired. And God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, woman of God. Servant of the living God. Thank you very much. I was right when I said you were loaded because I know my people. Hallelujah. If I didn't get anything, I get.